Hello my gaming friends and how have you been? Welcome to part one of the biggest video games being released in September. Since I've started this channel, this is by far the biggest month I've had to cover. It's a massive list with a wide range of different games. So I know there will definitely be something on here that grabs your attention. Anyway, we have lots to cover. So let's jump into it and I'll see you on the other side of the intro. Aliens are attacking, who will save us? Chenzo Club will, using chainsaws, hammers and the aliens own life force against them. These fearless warriors will pulverize enemies on their way to victory. Go Solo, go Co-op, go hack those aliens in this action-packed side-scrolling platform brawler. Did somebody say side-scrolling roguelike? Because you don't have to tell me twice for games presented like this. Chenzo Club is putting down some sweet Mega Man NES vibes and I want in. An array of heroes to choose from and either go solo or co-op with a mate. Plenty of power-ups and bonus levels paired with a sick retro soundtrack. What a way to start a massive release month. Chenzo Club comes out on all platforms the 1st of September. The Dragon S mixes heroes of might and magic like exploration, city building and turn-based strategic combat with a roguelite twist. Choose your battles, paths and skills as you explore a world ravaged by war. Gather and manage your army of beasts, collect resources and expand your city. Classic combat systems for yesteryear mixed with a polished and modern look. If you're a lover of strategic based combat with what looks to be a compelling story, then take a look at the Dragon S command of the flame finding its way to PC on the 1st of September. Araki's masterpiece brought to life as a fighting game. Battle with 50 colourful characters, wielding stands, humming and more. See how characters who could never meet into the story interact when they come face to face. To all my anime lovers out there, you might already be frothing at the mouth for this one. It's Jojo's bizarre adventure brought to life through a 2D fighter. A remaster of a previous Jojo's fighter. You would expect nothing less than over the top cinematics and moves. Voice acting has been updated with the part 6 anime actors and a more fluid fighting tempo. Grab this on all platforms the 1st of September. Dream up the ultimate minifigure brawlers and bash your way through all of your favourite LEGO themes in the first team action brawler set in the LEGO universe. Play with friends at home or around the world and see how you stack up against the competition. Now, timing might not be super great for LEGO brawls with the hugely popular multiverses dominating in the brawler space. But, I will say this, the idea of customising, and I mean really customising your little LEGO figurines, sounds pretty, pretty appealing to me. And it's funny that no brawler yet has really tried to take that aspect on. So he's hoping Lego can squeeze their way into the market share, releasing the 2nd of September on all platforms. Chasing after Ma, after Liza, the White Whistle. And thus, the one she risked her life to protect is still going strong to this day. Leader. Experience the awesome power of the Curse of the Abyss, as well as the astonishing, legendary entities known as primeval creatures. 
prepare to glimpse the world of Rico and her friends. Another anime title I'll pretend to know nothing about. Are you ready? Okay, so this is a complete original story written by the creator. And the story begins from the first episode of season one. That's about all I can pretend to know. Gameplay looks a bit meh, but I'm sure what fans are looking forward to is a new story arc from what I can see as a very highly rated series. Please note, this is probs not for kids. I'm sure there is dark and horrific themes. Made in Abyss, binary star falling into darkness. Man, what a title. Comes out to PC on the 2nd of September. Welcome to the Circus Electric. The most spectacular show the world Circus Electric is part story driven RPG, part tactics, part circus management and completely enthralling, all with a steampunk twist. When everyday Londoners mysteriously turn into vicious killers, only the show's talented performers possess the skills necessary to save the city. Damn, who doesn't love steampunk? Even better, we get a steampunk circus. I mean, those two are just made for each other. I'm all about Circus Electric. I'm getting these Slay the Spire vibes, but with a more tactical focus and team building element game style. Developed by Zev Studios, who have a massive back catalogue of pinball games, I'm really hoping they are going to transition nicely into the strategic genre. Watch out for Circus Electric on the 6th of September, releasing on all platforms. Explore a world filled with the magic of Disney as you discover rich stories and build the perfect neighborhood alongside Disney and Pixar heroes and villains in this new life sim adventure game. Welcome to Disney Dreamlight Valley. So essentially we are looking at a life sim game similar to Animal Crossing or Stardew Valley and we are in the Disney Pixar metaverse. Sounds interesting, and I can't tell you much from what I've seen over YouTube. Is this just a cash grab from a massive IP? Probably, yes. Money! Will this grab the attention of the Animal Crossing community? Mm, I'm not really sure. Time will tell as this game goes into early access on the 6th of September across all platforms, and it looks like it's available on Xbox Game Pass on release day. Hey, what took you so long? <laughs> All right, straight to the point with this Steam page description. You ready? A relaxing puzzle game about fixing train connections and traveling the world. Blunt and precise, I suppose. But honestly, we are talking about a puzzler here. Massive descriptions are probably not that necessary. You want to jump in and learn and play. Railbound looks incredibly chill from the art design down to the soundtrack. Plenty of puzzles to complete with over 100 in a variety of locations. This is the third puzzler from Afterburn Studio following from a bento box arranging game and a golf mountain climbing puzzler, both with high praise and reviews. So expect another win for the team here. Railbound releases the 6th of September to the PC and mobile. Welcome to the Festival of Explosive Races, Trail Out. Reckless racing around the world, crashes, explosions, destructions, and screaming drivers. Who here remembers the Burnout franchise? You can't tell me that Trail Out is not channeling that awesome franchise. I remember having so much fun playing those games, especially the challenge modes where you had to hurdle your car through epic crash zones and rack up huge multipliers. I really hope Trail Out can do the same. Even the trailer has me excited when I see you can fling your driver out the front car window and into a huge dartboard. Massive drinking game vibes here. Trail Out releases on the 7th on PC and I think early next year to consoles. Playtime mode is the big ring. Go. Playtime mode is the big ring. Go. Playtime mode is the big league. Go. Playtime mode is the big league. Go. Perfect release from the top of the key. Rise to the occasion in NBA 2K23. Showcase your talent in my career. Pair all stars with timeless legends in my team. Build your own dynasty in my GM. Or guide the NBA 
in a new direction with my league. Take on NBA or WNBA teams in play now and feel true to life gameplay. What do you want me to say? It's another NBA 2K, my dude. Practice your best trash talking before 2K23 comes out on the 8th of September. No Switch release, of course. Blockem is an action-filled block-building party game for two to four players. The controls are simple, but the road to victory is complex. Be the first to reach the goal, or be the last blocky standing. Do you enjoy being a total dick to your friends? You'll love Blockem. This is a PvP that looks so rage-inducing, but has the best-looking party game vibes going on. One of those easy-to-learn but hard-to-put-down kind of games, which are actually some of the best kinds. Grab some mates and have a laugh when Blockham releases on the 8th of September to PC. An anomalous infection spreads through the minds of Commodus Asteroid 27C. Brutally fight your way through hordes of monstrous foes as you attempt to contain the infection and uncover its dark origins in this gloriously violent, fast paced retro shooter. It's boomer shooter time for all my old school fans out there. Here's a few things to get excited about multiplayer support for up to 30 players in an array of game modes, sick ass pixel art, upgrade weapons into nearly endless combinations. Let's go! Hyper Violent is early access on the 8th of September to the PC. Welcome to Road Warden is an illustrated text-based RPG that uses isometric pixel art and combines mechanics borrowed from RPGs, visual novels, adventure games, and interactive fiction. Now doesn't that sound like a nice little bundle of genres wrapped up nicely for you? If you enjoy your fantasy novels and choose your own adventure gameplay, then consider this title. Boasting a huge world and lore with interesting NPCs, with lots of challenges and side quests, Dungeons and Dragons crew might enjoy this one as well. So if you're looking for something completely different this month and are sick of the audiobooks, give Road Warden a look at when it releases on the 8th of September to PC. Paris, 1789. The French Revolution has been suppressed with bloodshed by Louis XIV and his merciless mechanical army. Aegis, a mysterious automaton masterpiece. Must confront the King's army alone to save history in this challenging action RPG. This is a big one guys and girls. An indie game developed by Spiders, disguised as a double A title. It's the same crew who delivered us Greed 4 a while back. Just can't get enough of Soulsborne games, so bring it on. Art style looks on point, the mechanics seem to hit nicely, upgradable abilities and weapons seems really nice to me. I'm all about this one, but maybe wait for a review period. This one is releasing with a heftier price tag near the $70 Australian mark. Still Rising releases on the 8th to all but the Switch. Welcome to Splatsville, located in the Sunscorch Splatlands where new weapons, moves, stages, and fresh fashions await. Take on rivals in online ink-soaked battles, fend off waves of salmonid and thwart an octarian invasion. So, don't stow me to death after I admit to never have played a Splatoon game. Don't worry, it's on my forever growing wish list, but it's just something I haven't gotten around to yet. But that doesn't stop me from realizing that this is a huge Nintendo exclusive release for this month. Fans will be pleased to have more campaign maps to ink, a huge array of different game modes for both single play and co-op, 
and collect cards and deck duel against your friends now. All of this backed by some amazingly high visual standards you will find displayed on the Switch. Don't sleep on this one if you're Team Nintendo all the way. It comes out on the 9th of September. Lovecraft's Untold Stories 2 is the continuation of the first action RPG with roguelike elements based on the Lovecraft mythos ever released. Brand new graphics, a new and complex crafting system to create your equipment, six playable characters and lots and lots of incredibly challenging content. If you only judge this by the title alone, you would think you're about to play some sketchy adults only visual novel. But no, instead you get this sick isometric ARPG with an intriguing art style. Following from the success of 2019's first release, we noticed the developers move away from the pixel art and go into this more rendered look, suiting much more to the gothic themes, I think. You should find plenty of satisfying content in this sequel, from all the characters and weapons down to the side quests and roguelike mechanics. Jump on board Lovecraft's Untold Stories 2 on the 13th of September, releasing to PC. Ferocious Alpine Warfare will test your tactical skills in this authentic World War I first person shooter. Battle among the scenic peaks, rugged valleys and idyllic towns of northern Italy. The Great War on the Italian front is brought to life and elevated to unexpected heights. I just had to put this on the list this month. Sonzo has been on my radar for a while. It's the third in the World War I game series and I thought it was interesting because of the location. I can't really remember playing any first person shooters based in Italy, especially during the war. Even more so, you're battling surrounded by these beautiful Alps. I don't know, it looks really cool and it might be a more desired change of pace as gameplay is based more around mechanics and simulation. History buffs should get a kick out of this one as well. Releasing the 13th of September to PC. Peggy 18. Sunday Gold is a point and click turn based adventure game set in grim dystopian future. Play as a ragtag trio of criminals to hunt down and expose the dark secrets of an evil megacorp and the malevolent billionaire behind it. Holy shit does this trailer look awesome. It's speaking to my every being whispering sweet nothings into my ear. Great looking RPG elements, a sick looking low poly art style an amazing looking combat system and what looks to be some really cool puzzle solving. I'm definitely keeping my eyes on this one during the review period. It looks to have all the makings of an indie hit and something that might fly under the radar. Sunday Gold releases the 13th of September to PC. What happened? There's litres of his blood all over the place. This bloke owed money to vampires or something. Dive into a world that mixes sci-fi and ancient tradition. Slash through robots with a trusty katana. Use high-tech implants to navigate the surroundings. Dodge enemy attacks and land devastating finishes. Reclaim the past following the way of the Japanese samurai in the fantastic period of New Edo. So you think battling cyber samurai mechs sounds pretty fucking sweet? Yeah, me too. Just this soundtrack gets me hyped. It's another side-scrolling, souls-like game, but man it looks amazing. And surprise, it's not pixel art. A rarity when it comes to cyberpunk indies. But boy does it stand out by doing so. Keep a close eye on Blind Fate when it releases on the 15th of September across all platforms. There was a soul. Strike terror into the hearts of demons and devils as you fight your way through eight hells. Metal Hellslinger is a rhythm first person shooter brimming with diabolical enemies, 
powerful weapons and metal music, set out on an infernal journey in order to achieve the purest of goals, vengeance. I've had this boomer shooter on my Steam wish list for a while now, so it's awesome to see it releasing this month. All original songs written by some of the metal industry's finest, curated to brutal and intense first person shooter gameplay. I dipped my toes into the water of death and played the demo not too long ago. I loved it and found it much harder than its obvious comparison Doom. The boss fight I came across was relentless. Shortcutting this game is difficult. You need to get good. This is a really cool idea on the rhythm based genre. God damn it looks so good for an indie title. Jump into the mosh from hell when Metal Hell Slinger releases to all but the Switch on the 15th of September. I'm just going to do the rounds. I'll check in on each patient and see how they're doing. Did All right, a complete 180 from the Metal Hell Slinger trailer. Wayward Strand is a heartfelt story told in a curious way. Hop aboard an airborne hospital and meet its fully voiced cast of eclectic characters. As time passes for everyone on board, explore the interwoven lives of the patients and staff. Discover something new on each and every playthrough. If you're looking for something to hit you in the heart feels this month, check Wayward Strand. What struck me at first was the gorgeous art design, but looking further into it, the story of the game is quite interesting, where everything plays out in real time, as characters or NPCs live their lives whether you interact with them or not, and dozens of different stories unfold around you as you play through. A really interesting game mechanic I thought, anyway. So check out Wayward Strand when it releases on the 15th of September to all platforms. Oh, I told you, eh? Massive. And that's only the first half of September. Stay tuned for my part two video, which should be out soon, for even more exciting games to check out. Thanks for your company, and if you enjoyed mine, make sure to do the regular YouTube thing, like and subscribe, of course. Notification bell if you want to keep up to date with all the best games. Current subscribers, you're awesome, and don't stop being awesome, okay? Cheers, guys. Happy gaming, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye now.